all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. Damn here, yeah, y'all. Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com, go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, they <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell, your league? So, this is part two to Messy Monday. Uh, go back and watch part one. If you haven't watched it yet, then come back here. And um, that's all I got, man. Let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First one, okay? We got Ari Spears versus Lizzo and Mike F. Ari Spears is a well-known comedian from back in the day. He's actually really, really, really funny. But um, what he said didn't sit too well with a lot of people. And I feel as though he could have said it different. But, you know, back then, humor and, you know, being blunt was okay. But this is what he said. Do you know somebody that actually made good music, man? Lizzo. Lizzo? Yeah, bro. Have you heard her? Yo? Like, as a songwriter, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like an emoji. Now, for you to say you can't hear her music, that she looks like an emoji. Now, for you to say, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like an emoji. Girl, pissed me off so bad I went too far. My fault, yeah. Hit emoji. Songwriter, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like an emoji. He looks like his breath stink. His dick is little. He ain't getting no ass. Can't even get no ass from Lizzo. Okay. Looks like his house is dirty, filthy. Look like his, his comforter stink. You look like your comforter stink. Don't change your pillowcases out done been using the same towel, the same washcloth for a week. If he taking a shower. The audacity of this Tootsie Roll looking motherfucker to talk shit about Lizzo. What, you know what's so ugly about some of these malnourished, not even malnourished because he's, he's big. Um, just some of these fucking, he reminds me of a Tootsie Roll pop. Not a pop, a Tootsie Roll. Y'all know the thick Tootsie Roll? <laughs> you open the pack and then you 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 take the two, the white part, you, you you pull down the legs on the white part, and then you take it off the thing. That's what the fuck he looked like. But you know, men like him are so bothered by Lizzo. And she don't bother nobody. Ah! I don't get it. All right, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like an emoji. Now, for you to say you can't hear her music because you can't get past the fact that she looks like a shit emoji, no. sir. Have you not looked in the mirror? Now, I, I'm sure. being real here. Sam? Have you not looked in the mirror? Sir, what do you have? So you mean to tell me we are not supposed to like your comedy because we can't get past your face and your body? That looks like a fucking shit emoji for real. Lizzo big with money, baby. She rich, rich. Okay? 
She is in her motherfucking prime. You, we know you broke. <laughs> All right. At least you said she got the face. You ain't got neither one. None. So what the fuck are we supposed to get past <laughs> to hear your comedy? Uh, she got okay. a very pretty face, but she keeps showing her body on her. Like, come on, man. I'm sorry. Listen, I ain't the most in shape in the world. We know. But I still, you know, when you funny and you got swagger and confidence. Swag! Girl, but I still, you know, when you funny and you got swagger and swag! In the world. But I still, you know, when you funny and you got swagger and confidence and, and you decent looking, I think I'm at least handsome. This ugly motherfucker. <laughs> I think I'm at least handsome. It's, you know. See, Lizzo got this confidence. And because, see, the fact of the matter is Lizzo is a beautiful woman. <laughs> She's creative. She's rich. She is on top of the game right now. <laughs> yeah. Now, that comforter she wore to them awards yesterday. Lizzo. We got to talk about that. But she actually is a beautiful woman. Why does her curves make her less pretty? I don't get that. A woman can have, babe, what are you doing? <laughs> Take your ass to sleep. Get it. Like, what are you doing? That's crazy. You get but a woman that's built like a plate of mashed potatoes? Yeah, you said at least if you You're a man that's built like a plate of mashed potatoes. At least she looked like sweet potatoes, like for real. Get out. Go. Too late for me to see you. Go. Hurry. Make it fast. Come on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Y'all ass to sleep. Have a good night. You funny, got swagger, and a decent face, you can still get pussy. I, I don't see the decent face. Me. I don't see the swagger. It's a regular blue shirt with a New York Yankees hat. Hello. But you are funny. You lacking two Kinda. out of the three. So where does the pussy come in at? She can sing. She got a beautiful face. She has the swag. Now the body may not be up to your standard, but there's somebody out there that likes it. And let me just say something. Everybody's not meant to be little. There are some people who are big boned. So therefore when they- I don't give a damn. He wouldn't be able to handle all of that woman. You can't handle her. <laughs> That's why you acting like that. You wouldn't be able to handle her. <laughs> little boy. They become little, it doesn't look proportioned. There's are, I ain't gonna say no names, but there are some people who have lost weight and then their head look like a bobble head because it doesn't That's fit their fact. body because they lost too much weight. <laughs> That's some people's shoulders are broader now because they lost too much weight. Everybody's not meant to be little. If Miss Mamas is going over here to the doctor and they're telling her her cholesterol is good, her blood pressure ain't high, and woo, 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 she ain't got diabetes, then what the fuck is the problem? I don't get it. What is the problem? And you can't tell somebody else how to live their life. Honestly, Lizzo knows if I don't lose weight, then there's a possibility you can become... If Lizzo lose weight, everybody's going to talk shit about her. They're going to say she looks sick. And she should have kept her weight. If Lizzo going to change for anybody, it need to be for Lizzo. Fuck all these folks. Diabetic, or there's a possibility you can't have this. There's a possibility you can't have high blood pressure. I think she knows that. So if somebody is willing to deal with whatever the outcome is on their own, then why the fuck does it matter to you? Is in trouble. You know what kills me about women is, is the hypocrisy. And the contradiction. Yes, queen. Slay queen. Yes, queen. He ain't getting no ass. He is very upset about that. I'm telling you. 
He's talking like a man that don't get no pussy. Is the hypocrisy and the contradiction. Yes, queen, slay, queen. Yes, queen, slay. Yeah, girl, your confidence. Diabetes, heart, heart, heart problems, heart disease, cholesterol. And then there's a hypocrisy in men, too. Word. Oh, he's this, he that, I fuck with him. Oh, that's my nigga. But then y'all go out here and kill each other. Why can't you tell your homeboy to put the guns down? Why can't you tell your homeboy to stop doing drugs? All these niggas overdosing on drugs. But they Why can't his friends tell him to slow down on the burritos? Why can't he put a fucking chicken wing down or two? Why do you have to eat chicken Alfredo every day? Your neck is thick, sir. Why isn't anybody telling him to back the fuck up from the table? Oh, and I'm not small either. <laughs> London, excuse me, y'all. No! Go to sleep. <laughs> Yo, London will make it sound like <laughs> you don't ever have to touch London. Just say, <laughs> London, have a good night. Love ya. All right. Go and close the door. Slide your, slide your thing. Go slide. All right. You have a great night, honey. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> well, London got to be out. Nah. <laughs> She's like, ah! But, um, y'all, nobody is telling him to back up from the table. The nerve of him, and he talking about hypocrisy. Somebody need to tell you to back up from the table. They want to rap about it. They want to have guns. They want to get liquor. They want to drink. I'm right. on lean. Why don't you tell your home? It's the same thing. Word. It's the same fucking thing. Him. Why aren't you telling your homeboys that? Hey, bro, him. put that out. Hey, bro, you should respect women. Why don't ain't nobody me. telling him that, Zoe? Say it like that. But look what you just did to a woman, a black queen, a black beautiful woman who is out here doing something good for herself. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. And all that mashed potato shit, yeah, you're a comedian, I get you want to make jokes, but there's a time and place for everything. All claim womanhood. Oh my God. That's what he looks like. You want to make jokes, but there's a time and place for everything. I cannot believe that. That's crazy. Claim womanhood and about sisterhood and support for your sister. You know, when it come to that ridiculous. But if you really gave, why wouldn't you go, black girl? We love you. We love your confidence, boo boo. But th this ain't it. This ain't like we was talking about music. How the hell we get on her weight anyway? Ain't it? Where's that's the real love? Black King, we love y'all. But killing each other, this ain't it. This ain't it. Black Kings, we love y'all. Y'all make amazing music. But doing all them drugs and lean and y'all overdosing, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. Black Kings, we love y'all. But all this gang shit y'all doing. And leaving kids out here with no fathers and Yo, no my, families and recruiting children to become in the game and now they losing their lives young. Black King, this ain't it. This ain't it. Y'all will jump on me for making jokes, but y'all want to be real and go, sister, put the eclair down. This ain't it. So that sent social media into a frenzy and they started posting a lot of things. They started attacking him. Even my ex came out and said what he had to say. Um, he looked dirty and sick and has not been on TV since Mad TV. Oh, God. Yeah, but people don't walk out on my shows. Might want to turn down the volume on the shiny suits and jewelry and step your funny up, you know, get your little dirt on your pimp. Got got Get a little dirt on your pimp. I guess got a little dirt. I'm not trying to start it, but I ain't going to run from it either. And the only reason why I ain't tag him because he was he has me blocked. Um, he said the man looked dirty and sick. And I ain't, I wouldn't say that. That to me is like it might have been a personal <laughs> issue that I'll they got going on. <laughs> but I will say I get the guy was trying to be comical about it and be funny. But some of y'all skinny motherfuckers out here doing perks, pills, lean, powder. And if you ask me, the skinny ones look worse than Lizzo.
Just skinny. All that. That's why the fuck your skinny ass skin, but it don't mean you healthy. Skinny ass Yo, what up, skinny. your boy, Aerie Spears. I had to put the Yankee on for this one. Listen, I know I'm trending right now the because of the Lizzo Yankee? joke. And I just want to say, man, some a lot of you women are funny, you know, with the critiques. I ain't funny. I'm fat, unattractive. No woman wants me. They always try to hurt you with what works for you the most. But isn't that what you just did? did you, you said, say oh, hurt I'm, you? I'm not funny. I'm this. And did you say hurt you? Now, that was an insecurity. That was a flaming insecurity. I always want to try to hurt you, but isn't that what you just did? Hurt you, nigga? She built like the shit what? emoji, like a, a thing of mashed potatoes. You just tried to hurt her instead of uplifting her music. He asked you what woman out there has good music, and he said, oh, Lizzo, you said, oh, I can get past it because the way her body put like a shit emoji. You just did the exact same shit you said these women are doing to you now. That's what they try to hurt. That's like you break up and you go, that's why you got a little wee-wee and you can't screw. But you've been with him for years. I'm 32 years in this game and I ain't funny. I'm 32 years in this game and I ain't never got no meow. That's hilarious. And so you said they're trying to hurt you with what works with you the most. Well, obviously Lizzo doing good out here. That's working for her. If her big body is doing empowerment for big women, it's working for her. Man. You are saying shit that... Walk off, though. Punch the chest. People I like your outfit. Fuck you stupid. <laughs> Y'all don't deal in logic and sense. You deal in emotion and anger. Come with something that's not subjective. Me being unfunny, unattractive, that's not a fact. That's subjective. Stop leading with emotion and anger and come with facts. And sir, you're dealing in emotion and anger too. Because you said to you, it's like a shit emoji. But mama getting dick. Hello? She's getting dick. <laughs> she, she has boyfriends. Mama's career is doing fine. So what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> I can't. And so then he go and post the Beyonce, you can't break my soul. Obviously something's bothering you, sir, because you had to, did, did Lizzo turn you down? Did she upset you? Did you try and she said no? Cause you sound a little congested. Remember that dirty pillow thing I was talking about? Y'all see the nigga won't even show them big ass titties he got. <laughs> that pillow look like it stinks. Did she upset you? Did you try and she said no? Cause you sound a little congested in the throat anyway. So I don't think that your respiratory system is good as we speak. So while you sitting here trying to downplay her, you might want to make sure that your levels is good. He can't show them titties though. <sighs> Jeez. I mean, you are an amazing comedian, but we ain't heard about you until now. I mean, well, he ain't he that is. amazing. He done gave him too many points for that. He's not that amazing. He's not. I take it to the show. I don't. Let me hush. I just don't like that. Child, it's okay to own accountability of your mistake. You said something that was tasteless. Jokes are cool, but disrespect isn't. You know what? I'm not gonna say nothing. They be like, Lizzo, why don't you clap back? Why don't you clap back? Because bitch, I'm winning. If it ain't about me. Yes, Kiki, Miss Kate. That's what the Kate got. Oh, all right. So, child, oh, first ooh. of all, let's just start here. I think it's all fake. I think it's bullshit. Oh, okay. And I think they playing on the internet like they always do when it's time for these two grown ass motherfuckers to grow the fuck up. It's time to grow up. These games they play, it's getting old. Okay, so allegedly royalty ran, I guess, into the gate and crashed Leon's car, whatever the case may be. I don't know if she was drunk, mad, purposely doing it. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I don't want anybody in the comments saying, well, I don't know, man. But anyway, uh, she crashed Leon's car. She came in the house and didn't tell me. All right, she stayed here for about the whole time the kids was in school. So while the kids was in school, having a good old time, she was still not telling me anything. Cooking for me, we talking, we having a good old time. Then she leaves to go get the kids, but the gate's already broken, the car's already crashed. I just don't know this yet because I hadn't been outside. I don't go outside on my off days. My off days is Sunday and Monday. 
So today is Sunday and tomorrow is Monday. I don't go to the gym. I don't do anything. I just try to heal and rest up and get them gains. Actually, I'm losing weight because Royalty ain't really been cooking on schedule like she used to do because we walking around beefing right now, all right? So she crashed Leon's car to the gate, didn't tell me, went later, hours later, went to get the kids. And when the kids came home, Leon told me, which you guys already remember if you watched that video, Leon's like, Dad, Mom, she crashed my car. But she went on to her uh, social media, and this is what she said. I'm good, love. Go disappoint someone else. And then she asked him, if you're good off somebody, and you want to go disappoint somebody else, I'm just going to say, I'm good, love. Disappoint somebody. Boom, boom, bam. You know who the fuck I'm talking about. We know who the fuck you're talking about. But you tag him because you, child. All this shit is premeditated and thought the fuck out. They done sat in and thought this shit out. I guess money getting on E, they gotta build some shit back up, get their name back out there to bring in some coin. After she did that, he comes out and he posts this. I don't want Royalty to know I'm making this video right now, because I don't like Royalty right now, and I don't want her to come down here and say, hey, why are you talking about me? I don't care, okay? I don't care. First of all, the sass is real. I need for him to go home <laughs> and live in his truth, because baby, you, you got it in you, sis. It's there, baby. You are just a drama fucking queen. And then for you to say, I'm making this video because I don't want royalty to know, but then turn and say, but I don't care. Then nigga, it should matter if royalty know that you making the video because you don't care. Just like I don't care about these people that's in the comment section telling me, you don't need to be disrespecting your woman. Your wife, my wife, man, we ain't married. Stop calling her my wife, man. Stop calling me her husband. We not married. We don't even believe in marriage. Marriage is a piece of paper. I'm not finna sign my freaking life away to some paper, get freaking sued and divorced, whatever they all go through. I ain't going- Y'all see that fucking picture? <laughs> he looks so angry in this picture. <laughs> I'm just now seeing that. He was, he is not happy with her. I will say that. Going through that. That American traditional stuff y'all do. No, guess why I'm not going through that. My best friend d Bake, he was married when I was younger. Like, I wasn't even 20 yet. This fool was already married. This man is really toxic. He don't want to get married and sign them papers because he know if he ends up committing adultery, that woman can take the money, the house, or whatever the case may be if she needs to because you lied when you went and signed them papers when you knew you weren't ready to get married. She can still put him on child support. But if she put him on child support, that'd probably be the biggest mistake of her life. So what she need to do is keep his ass on a leash. Because what's his name? Um, Bam Man Kevo? He going to teach him how to pay. How to, how to get your baby mama. How to, how to pay the baby mama $700 a month. <laughs> That's what you don't want to get married. She, she you looking out for yourself. She can't play for her. And if Royalty stays here and allows you to keep doing what you want to do, cheating on her like you've been cheating on her, then she's stupid too. Then that actually means y'all are good for each other because both of y'all is just stupid. But anyway. He got a divorce next year. Like what the heck, now he's married again. So like, I'm not doing all that, no. I don't believe in marriage. I don't care if you get mad at me and you watch my videos and oh, you don't believe in marriage? I don't watch them no more. Guess what, that's cool. If you believe in marriage, I don't have anything against you. Like kudos to you, but just know this. Your man might be cheating on you and your wife might be cheating on you. And then a divorce is for sure coming and someone's gonna lose something. And like, that's that's all marriage is really for. So then I guess Royalty sees his video, whatever the case may be, and now she makes a video on, <laughs> on why she left. Letting it continue to happen because if I let it continue to happen, it's gonna continue to happen. So it's just like I'm just gonna take myself out of the situation and just and just let it be be what it is. So let's just rewind back to May 28th. May 28th is when everything went down. I went through CJ's phone, of course. He was cheating, talking to multiple women. Anything I'm telling you guys about CJ, some of y'all are y'all y'all actually already seeing y'all already know. Y'all already know he's a chronic cheater. He's a chronic liar. He just it's just, it's just getting old. Like, So if you know this, why do you keep going back? You might as well just stay. You said you're leaving because you're tired of him embarrassing you. You might as well. I can't wait to see her house tour. What she say they were moving on the fur? 12, 12. Well, stay, cause all you're going to do is go to your mama's house for three days and return back to the bullshit. Stop putting us in y'all group chat if you don't want us to see you make a fool out of yourself. If you're going to go, which she is, y'all, mark my words. It's what, August, August, September. I, she'll be back with him before October. Why? Damn. I ain't going to lie, I'm giving her to January. <laughs> September, October, November, December, January. I'm giving up to January this time. They're going to be back together before I... Not that she won't be communicating with him. They still communicate. I'm giving her 
to January to be moved back in his house with him. Over, watch what I tell you because bitch, when that money racks in from these two little, three little videos or whatever the fuck they got going on, when she tired of having the fact that they done fucking broke up right with now. each other when he really did cheat, she gonna get back with him and it is gonna be what it is and she gonna fall back into the bullshit, child. This shit is, just, is it's all at this point. The same way she say that shit, oh, he a chronic liar, he a chronic, bitch, you, you, you a chronic going back up. You a chronic embarrassment. You, you're, you're that. Like, we've only been on the news and stuff because of you cheating Gosh. or you just she killed me when she said, we've only been on the news. <laughs> Not the news. Just, you guys already know. I'm just tired of you. Know, I'm just tired of all of it. But anyways, of course, we're cheating. Girl, the news. <laughs> so, yeah, we get into it really bad. He wasn't just talking to one one girl. It was multiple girls, including the TikTok girl with the $300 and all that other stuff. So, yeah, we left. Me and the kids left, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, later down the line, this is one of the reasons why I'm not there why i'm not with him and he basically on may 28th when we broke up he went and he messed with tata two months later july which is i got all the receipts i'm going to be putting everything on here july 12th which is the day me and the kids we all went to circus circus tata dm me tell me i need to inform you with something so i'm like okay she must be he must be got something to do with cj because tata cj okay blah 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 that's when basically Tata told me she was pregnant. She didn't know what to do. She don't know if she's going to keep it, if she's going to get rid of it. She doesn't know. And she told CJ and he basically he didn't care. It was just like, she came knocking on my door and telling me what y'all did because you didn't care. Because of the choices, because of the choice that you made to do when you left the first time when you were messing up the first time. So for what I'm understanding, when y'all were separated, he was messing with Tata. They fooled around, whatever the case may be. While they were fooling around, she allegedly got pregnant. She came back and told you after you and him got back together because she went and told him he didn't give a fuck. So now she's telling you. So now that's why you're leaving him again now because you feel like this is just too much. It's embarrassment. And then he's supposed to be messing with her in May again. Hey, right in May. Do you know? Y'all lie so much, they be loopholes. But because y'all talk so much, you can't keep the fuck up. Okay. The bitch ain't pregnant. Ain't. He's corny. It, but because he got money, that's why these helpers fuck with him. You just delusional. Yeah. This is just too much. It, at this point, this is just... Ugh. Well, I tried to move on. I tried to sweep shit the rug i tried to just do everything in my right mind my right mind just to move forward and let things go like i said and just not but every single time i let it go try to make amends with him try to make it work what do you think comes back another another girl come knocking on my peaceful door well how the fuck do you keep going back why why do you keep going back uh, every time another woman knock on my door, knock on my peaceful door, you know he did this. Bitch, you know the shit coming, so why do you care? Why? Why do you care? Hello? You know it's coming, so why do you care? Why, why? are you stressed out? You knew. Why? You already knew. You why? already knew. You okay. knew it was coming. So why are we getting this video? Why are we getting this video? Why are you and him at each other? That's why he keep doing what he's doing because you're gonna allow him to do it. You leave, you stay gone, then you come back, then he fuck again. You leave, you stay gone, then you come back, he fuck again. He don't give a fuck cause you- He don't give a damn about that woman, you hear me? Hold on y'all, my fault, I need to uh... He ain't gonna respect you because you ain't gonna respect you. All he gotta do is go make another video. Oh, I miss my girl. I can't believe I told my family that. And that just means so much to me. I can't believe I did this. I'm gonna be a better man. And I'm gonna make things work because I need my family to get... Bitch! And then every time y'all break up, he go do shit to act like he don't care. That's when he went and got Tata. Now he over here fucking with his ex baby mama. You could've went to the NBA. We could've been fine. Oh, wow. Wow, NBA. That's crazy. You was parking your car stuff at the house. We was feeding you. I was you. definitely doing a lot. 
But you know what? It's cool though. You know, everything happens for a reason. And guess what? I like us better like this because I'm a cheater, as everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? It's better than being your mom and friends. I can't. So wait, wait, wait. So if we was in a relationship, you would still let me do what I want to do? Do you? I need to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Make sure the house taken care of. Hold on, wait. So all I gotta do is pay the bills like I already do, take care of everything like I already do, and I can do me? Cause that's what kings do anyway. Why is it always like that, bro? She lying though. Cause if I, I get with it, if I get with a deal, everything gonna change. Where you been? Where you going? Uh 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 uh. I have to eat them. Stay here and talk about her child, about his children, no children, to disrespect his real biological child, and he disrespected her and made her look stupid. Now her stupid ass over there talking to him, making videos exactly. like a stupid ass. All y'all just a motherfucking stupid <laughs> motherfucking ass. <laughs> That's just, that's something else to like. <laughs> Me and CJ, we had our adult conversations. Stupid ass over there talking to him, making videos of him like a stupid ass. All y'all just a motherfucking stupid motherfucking asses. Fucking up the paint. Stupid! <laughs> All y'all. He seen that mark he put on the wall. Stupid! <laughs> look at his, look at his eyes. He seen, he seen that mark he put on the wall. Ooh, that would have pissed me off so bad if I was him too, looking at that mark on that wall, y'all. Lord have mercy. All of y'all! That's just, that's something else too. Like, me and CJ, we had our adult conversations about it. Of course, I didn't want to tell CJ when I, it first happened. The only reason I would, didn't tell CJ when it first happened is because I know how CJ is going to react <laughs> to things. And that's the only reason why I didn't tell CJ when it first first initially happened because of his reaction on how he was going to react towards me and the way how he reacted on camera was not how he reacted towards me i got cussed out okay so it's just like it was trying to it was just some stuff that i was trying to avoid who gives a fuck all that talking he's talking about i got money i got this i got that i'm doing it who gives a fuck fix the car get a new one Oh, the fuck, what nigga, he done did other shit worse than that. Who gives a fuck? You give him too much credit for none credit. She didn't say anything to put the blame onto you instead of own up to your own mistakes. Well, CJ, you never own up to yours. You didn't own up to you killing that dog. You didn't own up to um them girls talking about your daughter. You didn't own up to you cheating. You don't ever own up to anything. You always want to make an excuse on why you do what you do. But now when she's trying to make an excuse for herself, now it's all people make excuse they don't want to own up. Nigga, when you gonna own up to your shit? Sus. But if that's true, why wait to leave until now? Because you're probably behind the scenes telling her, oh, I love you, don't leave me. And the same shit you be doing when she was gone last time to her mama house, I just want my family back. Oh, I can't believe this. Now, you don't remember that fuck ass video you made in the hallway crying puss ass nigga? You don't remember that? You manipulated son of a bitch. You don't remember Puss ass nigga. Remember that? Oh, I just want my family. I just don't come home to an empty house. They took all the stuff and they're gone. Nigga, if you don't give a fuck, shut the fuck up. But this time, no, 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 no. I wasn't moving the wrong way at all. This time, a bunch of lies are being told on me, and that's what the screenshot is going to prove. No, 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 no. Yes, you are a girl. You were doing all the wrong things, girl. You're just a hoe, girl. You're a slut, girl. You're, you know, you're just in the streets, girl. You just do all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, girl. That, that, that's you, girl. So as you can see, the screenshot is proving with Tata even saying she didn't say any of this stuff, and she doesn't know why he's lying on her, and she she hasn't said anything about me. Um, and that was even in one of the screenshot. She said, "No, I haven't talked to him since the 28th." So she told me that. And then she circled around and told me the same thing when I asked her, why are you lying around talking about you work out with me, talking about we talking, we doing this and that, when we haven't seen each other since May 28th. That was the first and last time we've seen each other since last year. So it hasn't been no secret stuff going on with me and Tata. And uh, most of all, she wasn't pregnant. So the whole pregnancy thing was Tata's way of trying to get back at me because honestly, this is what I'm learning now. But I don't want to hear that bullshit. Let's, let's listen to Tati lie too. Started leaping to others. Tati. It's just crazy. Please stop doing that. I have no problem with royalty. I apologize. I'm even in between what they got going on. And that's another thing. I am not the reason that they I wouldn't that apologize for that shit. I mean, 
Maybe I was. To you was them, last year, for me, I was not the reason y'all broke up. You guys see me and CJ together after any of this? We are not together. We are friends. We hang out as regular and people do, as regular friends. friends do. Does not mean we are in a relationship or we are together. And I'm stopping that narrative today and I'm drawing lines at this point because I let you guys do run with it and do what you guys do with it and whatever. I'm done. So anyway, despite all that, him and Tachi and got in cahoots together, lying. Because the same way you sat there and you and Rosie had her daughter lie and all Word. that bullshit y'all did, then come back and say, oh, it was a lie. And then you came Word. back years later and told us that you lied back then. Lie. Nigga, we ain't gonna believe this. Lie. Right now. <laughs> all y'all do is lie, 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 lie. So you and Tati ain't do nothing but lie. You fucked Tati. Tati was pregnant. Tati motherfucking told her. She came back and told Rosa, Rosa, and whatever. What else? Fuck your life. Agave. You sound like your life. I don't want to see no message. Y'all don't conjure up and got together, bitch. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck the baby. Fuck not the baby. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck all this. It's just a lie. It's just a lie. All y'all do is lie, 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 lie. I'm glad this week didn't have no shit because they don't fucking drink. That's why I put their ugly asses last. <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, yo. Let's keep key. Let's cave. He is All right, y'all. That's all I got for missing money. I know y'all gonna cuss me out. But no, everything was last week. Last week was so fucking good. It was so much shit. It's so much shit. Damn. It was so good, shit. Anyway. Well, I'm glad y'all got I got a whole show. I got to go to rehearsal now for my pole rehearsal for my show on August 31st. If you're in Atlanta, come down to Terminal West. We are doing a show August 31st. It's going to be insane. Get your tickets, okay? Go to my Instagram. You can see it. Terminal West. Get your tickets for Strange. It's going to be awesome, all right? I got to go get ready to pack. I had to cut this shit a little bit short, too, so I got to go. God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody. All right, so listen, y'all. Um, oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> listen, y'all. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Subscribe to this channel. And uh, hey, uh, yeah.